Hi friends, welcome to Science of Soul. Today we are going to learn about hydrides. What are hydrides? When hydrogen combines with a large number of other elements, including metals and non-metals, except noble gases, to form binary compounds called hydrides. In short, hydrogen plus metals or non-metals form hydride. Now, but except noble gases. Noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. These hydrides are represented as EHX or EMHN, for example, PEH2 or B2H6. Hydrides are of three types on the basis of their chemical and physical properties ionic or saline hydride, covalent or molecular hydride, metallic or interstitial hydride. Now first case is ionic or saline hydride. When hydrogen combines with S block element then these hydrides are formed. S block elements include alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. But exceptions lie everywhere. Here also beryllium and magnesium do not form ionic hydride. These type of hydride are formed by the transfer of electron from metals to hydrogen atom. That's why they contain hydrogen as H negative ion as you can see in sodium hydride and calcium hydride. Their properties are these are white crystalline solid or may appear as grey crystalline solid. They have high melting and boiling point. These are non-volatile and non-conducting in solid state but conduct electricity in fused state. As you can see NaH gives N positive plus H negative. H negative liberate at anode which confirms the existence of H negative ion. Next their densities are higher than those of metals. Densities are higher than those of metals of which they are formed. Next, CaH2 and SrH2 are the most stable hydrides of this class because their enthalpies of formation is high so their stability is high. Enthalpy of formation is high. So stability is also high. Next they produce hydrogen gas with water as you can see here and produce sodium hydroxide and H2. Therefore their aqueous solution are basic in nature. Next they are powerful reducing agents. In this reaction CO2 plus sodium hydride on heating gives sodium formate. Next they burn spontaneously in air. Now we will learn about covalent or molecular hydrides. This type of hydride are formed when hydrogen combines with P block elements which includes group number 13 to 17. They have general fo general formula E H 8 minus N, but not in all cases. Nomenclature: first, we will write element name, then suffix N. For example, PH3 will be called phosphine, but its common name is phosphine. Now we will take more examples like H2O. Its systematic name is Oxidane. But its common name is Water. Now another example NH3. Its 
systematic name is azine but its common name is ammonia now we will see properties of covalent hydrides they are soft in nature they have low melting and boiling point they are volatile in nature they have low electrical conductivity <coughs> one note is given acidic nature of these hydrides increases as we move left to right along a given row in periodic table now from 15 group 16 and 17 we will move from 15 to 17 in which NH3 of group 15 is weak base while H2O is neutral and HF is acidic. Now covalent hydrides are of three types electron deficient, electron precise and electron rich. Electron deficient includes hydrogen bonding with group 13 elements which in have boron family and electron precise includes hydrogen bonding with group 14 elements which is carbon family and electron rich includes hydrogen bonding with group 15 to 6, 17 elements which are nitrogen family chalcogens and halogens one more there one property is also given electron deficient act as lewis acids while electron precise have tetrahedral geometry electron rich have lone pairs examples of electron deficient is b2h6 diborane electron precise ch4 and electron rich nh3 and h2o one knot is also given here NH3 has one lone pair while H2O have two lone pair and HF has three lone pairs. Now last part of this video, metallic or interstitial hydrides. These are formed when hydrogen combines with D and F block elements. So let's see, here group numbers are given. In red color they form hydride three four five group number form hydride while in group number six only chromium form hydride remember thus only chromium form hydride and group number seven eight nine do not form any hydride Remember this and now note beryllium and magnesium which, which are S block elements also form metallic hydride. This is important because this is exceptions and exception is always important. Now properties. They are hard, have metallic luster conduct electricity and have magnetic properties second the densities of these hydrides are lower than those of metals from which they are formed ionic hydrides are opposite in this property they have higher density than those of metal from which they are formed remember this also and now next in case of metallic hydride case of metallic hydride law of constant composition does not hold good fourth property is these hydrides can be used as hydrogen media these hydrides can be used as hydrogen media 
This property has potential for hydrogen storage and as a source of energy for vehicles. Because transition metals have property of absorption of electrons, sorry, absorption of hydrogen which is used in catalytic reduction and hydrogenation reactions. There are some metals like palladium and platinum which can absorb a large volume of hydrogen and therefore used as its storage media especially in cars working on fuel cells. Their examples are LAH 2.87 and YBH 2.55